Do you convince that uh, when you look at the, the growing gap, which is uh, feasible in European football, uh, between the top clubs and the rest of Europe, uh, we are convinced that it's time now to act and to react. And based on the data we uh, gathered out of this data warehouse created mm -hmm. by Varun, we really can argue now. And uh, we are convinced that the small clubs, there are more than 500 medium-sized and smaller clubs, who are not taking part in, uh, in uh, UEFA competitions, although there will be created obviously a second Europa League, but for these clubs we need support and we need a development in professional football and that's why we are now starting negotiations uh, with the proposal to increase the solidarity payments which will be used then for all these clubs and uh, there will be a, a, a smart act of solidarity from the top five clubs because they abstain from taking this money and this will be uh, transferred and shifted to, to all these medium-sized and smaller leagues and clubs just to develop their football and the money is ideally to be used not only for youth development but for infrastructure, for security, for whatever, uh, even for the administration, this is what I, what I told the students just before, that ideally there would be a bit more money for the administration that the clubs could hire the expertise and the knowledge of the students, maybe as an intern and later on as, a, as an uh, employee. So this would be uh, the goal, it will be a long way to go, to discuss, to negotiate with UF and especially with the clubs. But uh, we, are, we are convinced that the need, the change is needed and that uh, in the end everybody will understand and decisions will be taken accordingly.